Welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 2 Lore Through. We're at the Poison Pool Bonfire in Harvest Valley. And... Ugh. Let us use a Poison Moss for now. Although I think that's still... Let's use a common fruit. You might have to roll around because it's like still on my body. It's like, it's kind of a cool like UI. Like, it goes lower and lower on my body the more and more it gets off me. I guess I shouldn't have used that. Um, poison moss, but anyway. All right, cool. Get off me. All right, so, I mean, we can see a huge tower. Ooh, there's things crawling around in there now. Um, a lot of windmills, and it looks like, I mean, it doesn't look like it's moving now, but it looks like they were transporting people from the woods up into the tower up here and keeping them there in the prison or something. Anyway, there's this Hamlet character here who's looking at a skull. Let's speak to her. Are you a traveler? I'm Cloanne, an Orstone trader. I travel about collecting rare stones, which I sell to make my living. I never planned to visit this God's forsaken place. But I don't know. I just sort of ended up here. I must have just wandered in. <laughs> but now that I'm here, I've been scouting around for rare bits. Oh, don't look at me like that. Many of these stones are quite useful. For instance, certain stones are used in smithing. Ah, oh, now your ears prick up. <laughs> Don't say prick to me. Have extras if you can pay. This is my trade, after all. <laughs> it's not a stone, that's a skull, lady. Stone trader Cloan. So we know that... Um, well, I should probably just say it right here, but we know that... Um, the blacksmith back in Majula has a daughter that collects stones and is a traveler. Let's see what she's got. So she does have soul appease, which is interesting, because it says, one of the lost miracles preserved only in the undead crypt. Well, we're not in the undead crypt. Inflicts heavy damage on mindless hollows, but has no effect on anything else. The undead crypt is a place of rest for the living. Those afflicted by the curse can only pray to one day gain entrance. That's a very interesting way of putting it. I don't know if it matches what we see there. Dead again. Hex that casts a dark flame onto corpses, causing them to violently combust violently. Hexes such as these that tamper with life itself are particularly abhorred. We already know that hexes are really banned and not thought well of. Oh, here's a bonfire aesthetic. We can read it. Tossing this into a bonfire strengthens nearby foes. Once the bonfire aesthetic is devoured by the flames, its effects can never be reversed. Be prepared before using this perilous ember. Um, fire exhibits a connection to the curse, and when the flames grow stronger, so does the curse. So what this does is it kind of like, for the bonfire and the area around the bonfire that you cast it into, it will make it go up a new game level. So like, if on this first level, if I use it, then it goes into new game plus. And they say it can never be reversed, because if I went to new game plus, you know, so if I went to cycle two, that bonfire would be cycle three on that playthrough. So it is kind of a, you know, a thing. But could be very useful if you're farming or doing something specific. Um, it is interesting that it is an ember, um, and uh, and it talks about the connection between the fire and the curse. I came here in search of rare stones, but 
The place is nothing like I was told. All this poison, and you can't get very far inside. Don't just go haplessly wandering about. These stones may look all the same, but to the trained eye, each is unique. Some of them are used to smith weapons and armor, and some unique stones provide special benefits. Some of them are extremely rare and should be used with great thrift. None of the differences are easily spotted, but I've learned quite a lot, really. <laughs> Drang Lake. How is it that I ended up here? It's funny. I can't seem to remember. Yet another person who can't remember how they got drawn into that whirlpool and brought here when they became undead. It becomes the theme of this game. I've searched every nook and cranny here. I suppose it's time to move on. Perhaps we'll meet again, if we live that long. <laughs> well, I cleared out all the enemies that way, so you can go that way. I've searched every... I suppose it's about time I moved shop. Alright, Cloan. We'll see you later. Alright, so... The question is... What is the same... from this area, and what is completely different? I'm sure items and enemies will be... Er, NPCs and items will be placed differently. Okay, they can actually throw that up now, which is good. That never used to go up. That kind of would always go straight, making them pretty useless in this area. We do a one hit? Nice. There's a lot of things in this area compared to the originally. Um, I guess we'll uh, boost poison resist and then just try to go with this. Fading soul. Titanite shard. Okay. Shard, Titanite Shard. <sighs> Alright. This used to be a torch. Okay. Okay, I'm just waiting until this goes down so I can at least do somewhat of a thing here. Throwing knife. Fading soul. Fading soul. Okay, another titanite shard. Titanite chunk. Ugh, oh, gosh. Okay. Okay. Fading soul. Titanite shard. Uh, I guess we can do this. In a second. Okay, another small silky stone. Silky stone. Titanite shard. This is not worth it. Alright. Oh, and there's something up here. Okay, we got some chunks, which is good because we can level up our weapon. Ooh, I did not even see I was about to die there. Presented myself to this guy. All right. Cool. Another fragrant bench of your. And yeah, he is here. Okay. Um. Raw stone. I do. 
Uh, he doesn't say anything, but let's see if he sells anything new. He doesn't, but it makes sense that he's, sell, uh, he's selling poison stuff in this context. Alright, let's see if we can grab this real quick. Fire seed. Great. Great, great, great. Alright, so. We'll never have to do that again. Again, they give you the life gems here to like. Okay, there's something new here. Oh, there's a uh, desert sages. Okay, well, let us. Can you reach up here? Okay. They only have three. Okay, and they do no damage to you. And they're not even hitting. Guys, and she dress dropped something potential. Oh, well, to dusk her. It's still good. If we wanted to regain our sorcery, we could. Okay. Red leech churches. Uh, we read the dark ones. Those related to Elizabeth. Yeah, similar thing. But it's for bleeding. Oh, nice. Yeah, so there used to be uh, two of those big guys that, uh. Ooh, lingering dragon crystal ring plus one and a dragon charm. Hmm. Um, oh, is there still a guy down here? Oh, I killed him. Um, yeah, there used to be those two big guys that threw the dark balls, and then they, like... Yeah, they'd never hit you. It was never a threat. Alright, well, let's look at this Lingering Dragon Crest string. Plus one. Is that the same one I read? Ring is long, long ago in a land that exists where Dragon Link does now. The ancient dragons were once worshipped in several nations, and rumors concerning objects of similar enchantment to this uncommon ring abound in many lands, though their origins are no longer verifiable. I think we read that. And then, um, what else do we, oh, a dragon charm. Have we ever gotten a dragon charm? No. A blessed charm. Cures poison, cures poison and greatly restores HP. A rare ancient charm that is said to be endowed with the power of dragons. It is not clear whether it is man-made creation or some other nature. Okay. Oh well. Yeah, this always looks like a little bit of a mining area, so it makes sense that there's in Demon Souls, yeah, the mines. Demon Souls you would always find in the mines you would find a lot of crystal lizards. Ugh. one of those might be worth our while I mean I can always get them later but I'll try one more time at least I won't make it like me chasing after a uh, fast hollow for like 10 minutes
Eh, they don't let you do that anymore. Alright, let's see if this is the same. Yeah, okay, so this is a little tricky. So you gotta wait till he like comes right up here and swings at you. Yeah, if he like... He oh! Oh, they fixed that! <laughs> That's good. Ooh, that hit me. Okay. Um, I don't have a plan. I don't know how much magic my shield does. Oops. Okay, uh, basically nothing. still have a unique item in here? Or is it now just because it's easy to get? Now it's just souls. Oh, there we go. Old Knight Pike and an Old Knight Great Shield. Now the Old Knights are the ones that we found in the Hyde's Tower of Flame. Wielded by a warrior from a time so ancient that there exists no record of his endeavors. Sometimes just a thing falls to pieces and unleashes a last flash of great power. Yeah, so when we were fighting the old knights in the area right before No Man's War, we found another old knight weapon uh, that said the exact same thing. Undated an ancient great shield, wielded by a warrior, so yeah, same thing. That's the only place in the game where you can get that, and so you have to get him to, to do that. Uh, yeah. Well, this area is another area that I always skip. So you can't really get out of here. Great. Add insult to injury. So, I mean, because I don't know what else to do, I mean, like, I'm sure, you know, someone's like, oh, all you need to do is, like, do this and then everything's really good, but... Oh, God. Like, I don't know how else to do this besides just like basically... Oh, I used a, a repair powder, that's not what I wanted. Although, I guess thanks. Thanks for making me pause unnaturally long for that. Okay. Um, I guess I'm gonna go back to the bonfire. After this, Get some more life gems. So 
So yeah, I don't know if we've gotten Simpleton Spice before or what's what, but basically... We'll go over there in a second. Um, one lowers uh, the amount of... Yeah, Skeptic Spice probably is... Uh, lowers Intelligence on a Sorcery or Hex, and Simpleton's is lowers Faith. They have the same lore other than that. It's these that I don't want to be doing here. I don't think there's any item that you can't get normally. Although I think that one is an Estus Flash Shard. Ooh, it petrified something. But since we're all clear here and I'm just going to go back anyway, um, let's grab that through um, this because I don't want to run around underneath in the poison. There might be something there now, but eh. Okay, well, it's not that. There is an SS flash shard coming up, I guess, so. That unnecessary area complete. Mm -hmm. Oh god. Mm. Can you get me from here? Okay, no. Now, where is Forlorn? I guess I should look out for him. Well, that, that's interesting, that doesn't work on... Some, and usually in PvP, again, maybe this is a scholar first and thing, or maybe it was my timing. But if you, um, if someone uh, rolls away and you go right behind them, you can usually get a backstab when they get up pretty easily. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if you can see, but there's these like undead riding these big brutes here. huge undead sign on his back, which in this game, that's where they exist. Um. Oop. Didn't get out of the way in time. Okay, what is shooting at me? There must be desert sorcerers up there. Oh my gosh. Okay, well... See where they are. Um, hopefully, they can't get here. This area here. Uh, is there a guy here? No. Nice. There's a guy here. Hmm. But yeah, here's the Warriors of the Sunlight Covenant. 
the statue in the exact same configuration of being broken. Unfortunately, I believe that this is just fan service. You can actually see the face. Is that what the firstborn looks like then? I don't know. I, I don't know why it's what it's doing here. I don't know. We know that this is Drang Lake, or we know that this is Vinheim. There'd be no reason for this to be here. Uh, it's a little frustrating. Reign of the heirs to the Sun Covenant. Worship of the Sun, now a lost belief, was once widespread amongst great warriors. Members of this covenant can leave their golden signs to be more easily summoned to join brethren. I can accept that the warriors of sunlight came here. What I can't accept is that this is a broken statue, broken in the exact same configuration as the first game. If they wanted to be a little bit clever, they could have had a non... Like... They could have just had the feet... Or they could have had a non-broken one for some reason that that was like one that had traveled here. Uh, who is supposed to be here? Maybe there's a chest? Huh, maybe the people are putting that because there was something but there's no longer anything there. Alright, well, time to get poisoned. Bleedstone. Large Titanite. Oh, I, that's coming out of an area. Titanite. Ooh, a Titanite slab. That's handy. Smoky Stute, Smooth Stone, Titanite Shard. Oh, there's still another guy here. Oh, this is, oh, Chameleon. Shard, Dragon Charm, and the Washing Pole. Huh. Okay. Well. Um, I guess I'm gonna rest so that we can just regain stuff because we don't need to kill those guys again. And let's read some of that stuff. So what did we get? I guess Chameleon is the only thing. Which we know is a sorcery from Ulisil. Sorcery that dates farther back than recollection allows you to blend into your surrounding. Those who fear the unseen are cowards. Those who never doubt their eyes are fools. Alright. Oh cool. We can do this stupid thing again. And I did that for the second time in a row. Can top. Great. Okay. Are these all poisonous? Yes, they are.
Those guys are just everywhere. Oh! Oh, and that's death now. <laughs> I mean, maybe that part was always death, but... Um... I was planning on running down that area, that hallway right there. Alright. Well, we get another chance at these stupid lizards. Get that over. I guess that's the point that the... Oh my god. Why would you... Why would you... <laughs> okay. <sighs> Calm blue oceans. Okay, this guy is coming. Oh, great. They made this area a lot harder. For sure. Hmm. It's almost like you can't attack him like that at all. Because I don't have the option. Uh, those flames never hit me, but I, certainly I don't like them. And this is all leading up to the worst boss of the entire Soul series, so... Huh. Okay, bye. Okay, now I guess I'm gonna be careful. Okay. Oh, shoot. Wow. Why are you getting further and further away from me? Oh my gosh. Oh, come on. I don't want to use this here. Oh man, this is just insane. Is there another guy here? It. This is repair powder now. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Okay, so... Sure. Poison bite ring. Wow, where's that Estes shard? I guess we've been getting them in different locations, so they just removed it. One of the several bite rings known for their, known for their peculiar design. The similarly, the similar oddly disturbing design of these rings suggests the common source. Whoever the master craftsman was, he clearly knew his trade. Well, I think we actually learn who makes them later. All right, Lugatil, do you have your mask off? No. Let's talk to you. Still on the road, are you? Sorry to have burdened you so. This is for you, by way of an apology. I found my thoughts growing hazy. My memories are fading, oldest first. The curse is doing its work upon me. I am frightened, terribly so. If everything should fade, what will be left of me? So yeah, I think this is the most direct account of going hollow we get in the game. Um, memories are fading, oldest first. I, I, I like her storyline quite a bit. I had an older brother. We learned to fence together. He became the most decorated swordsman in all of Mirror. I never even compared to him. In fact, I never beat him. 
not once, but then, one day, he was gone, lost without a trace. Now I'm certain that he was taken by the curse. So yeah, Lucatiel has an older brother, and perhaps she went around to try to find um, her brother. If only someone would hear my tale. My brother must have come here, too. Soon I may forget even about him. If only someone would hear my... Soon I may... Where gains the protection of steel? Said to be the ring of the once legendary Night King, though his tales are long forgotten, and even the great Lee Weiss and have no recollection of his exploits. Um, I'm going to take protection over damage right now. Um, yeah, so that's Night King Rendell's um, ring, of course. All right, well, let's go get poisoned. Escape it. Oh, did that hit us? Okay. And then we can, like, we just have the one of these. Okay, well, we should probably aim better. So, what is this black and oh, Hexinger. the two okay these don't break them issue here. Can we sneak by this guy? Okay. Oh, I tried to dodge that. Terrific sounds when they die, to be honest. Okay, well, you can just stay there. I don't mind. Alright, where are we with time? Okay, we're alright. Oh, cool, they're showing you this mechanic. Um. <laughs> I was like, I know there's something going on here. Guys, these guys are much tougher than I remember them being. Like, oh gosh, am I really gonna go? I mean, I don't need health for this boss fight, but.
feel like, yeah, it's like, I can't, I guess I could roll past him. Whew, boy. Guess I should pop a bright bug or something. Ugh. This is trapped. Hopefully it's the poison trap. Nope. Okay, I got a poison stone. Alright. Um, so yeah, are we meant to like learn how this works here? Those are, those are in the boss room, and it was really hard to figure out how to use them. I don't know how much. I think maybe the boss, like, eats them or something. Uh, let's just beat the boss here, and then we can, uh, we can go back and get the rest of those items. Watch, this guy's, like, super hard now. Still, his shoulder, he definitely can't ever do anything to you. He can hit you with his tail, he can roll over. His big attack that's supposed to be <laughs> the most, whatever, unique aspect of his character is that he can eat you and he'll remove all of your clothing. Which I think is a cool mechanic. Like, remove your armor, that is. But, I mean, it doesn't do all much good. So, yeah, I think if you, like, shoot these down in the fight, he'll, like, try to eat them. Which plays into his character. Eating is an expression of desire. There was once a man whose deep affections were unrequited. He transformed into the covetous demon, which only made him lonelier than before. This is the whole story of Alkin that we're going to be learning here. And it's, um... You know, we'll, we'll, we'll get to it. But yeah, the covetous demon was uh, was yet another. We see that a lot in in Dark Souls that people's kind of like desires or whatever like come out and make them transform. I mean, I th I'm sure that's not just Dark Souls. I'm sure that's like. Uh, I'm sure that's just like common mythology like Joseph Campbell type shit. Okay. Um all right. All right. Now. There's a lot of mannequins here before. Oh yeah, there's like these arrow traps. Does he set this off finally? Nope. Uh, I guess this is meant to be a little bit like Sun's Fortress, although it doesn't have the kind of novelty and coolness of Sun's Fortress, doesn't have the lore of Sun's Fortress, and it doesn't even have like the challenge of Sun's Fortress. Trying to kill him quick. Okay, this is not going to be good. Okay, he's going away. Ugh. 
I mean, I made the stupid decision of coming into this room, but once I did that, I don't know how much uh, I could have done to defend myself there. Uh, and there's probably not even an item over here. In other words, oh cool, that didn't get broke. That just. Okay. Um, we're gonna probably want to kill her. Oh, okay. This place is like legitimately getting me, getting me scared compared to what it normally does. Okay. Come in here. Don't trip the trap. Yeah. There we go. Okay, these guys are more powerful at least. Claws. One guy there. Okay. Heavy crossbow. Crossbow. A lot of Titanite shards and such, which is good. Um, and I guess we're gonna do this, which means I guess we're going to do this. Run away! Why would you... <laughs> oh my... Alright, I'm literally... <sighs> Alright, this is an interesting thing. After you beat the area's boss, it like automatically gives you the human effigy effect. Alright, so now we're in Lower Earth and Peak. And I think this is a good enough time to uh, end the episode. And uh, I'm going to go level up and do all that fun stuff. And then we'll be back here to take on Earth and Peak. See you in a second.